In this video, I want to talk about creating deep copies of nested lists or lists of lists, like L here, for example. The goal is to create a list that has the same contents as L, but in such a way that if you modify the contents of L by, for example, going L at 0 at 0 equals 2, L at 0 at 0, remember, is initially 1 because this is L at 0 and then this is L at 0 at 0. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the copy doesn't change if you change L. The way we want to accomplish this is we want to create new copies of the sublists of the inner lists and then put them in a new list. Let's go. The first thing that needs to happen is, of course, we need to execute line 1. 1, 2, 3, and 4 are, let us say, already in memory. And now we need to create the inner list, and then we get to create the outer list and assign its address to L. Let's begin. We want to create the list 1, 2. Let's do that, and let's put it at address 1120. The address of 1 is 1000, and the address of 2 is 1040. This would be L at 0. Now let's create 3, 4. We create 3, 4 the same way. At 1080, at 1100. This will be in the future L at 1. Note that we haven't even created L yet. But let's do it now. L is a list that contains two elements, this guy and this guy, which we already put in memory. So now it's pretty easy to create L. Just create the list and put a reference to the first list and a reference to the second list. We are done. This is L. And we are ready to take the address of this outer list and assign it to the variable L, which we are now creating. L will refer to the address 1160. The next line is very easy. All we need to do is we need to create an empty list and then have copy L refer to that particular empty list. Let's create an empty list over here and say that we will in the future call it copy L because we know that that's going to happen right away. We'll say here that copy L refers to 1180. Now let's proceed with actually doing the work of making a deep copy of L. What are we doing here? We're saying for sublist in L. That means go through each of the elements of L. So in this case, this guy and this guy, make a copy of each of the elements and then append it to the new list that we've just created, copy L. So initially, sublist is assigned the address of this guy. So right now, as we are speaking, sublist refers to L at 0, to 11.20. Now what happens is we need to evaluate this expression. What's the value of this expression? Well, that's the address of the newly created copy of sublist of 1120. Why is it a copy of 1120? Well, because saying sublist and then having the columns inside the square brackets, that's just basically shorthand for this kind of thing. For create a new list whose first element is sublist at 0 and whose second element is sublist at 1. So we need to first create it, and then we'll append it to copy L straight away. By append, we just mean put its address 
in here in 11.8 inside the square bracket. Let's first create the list. So sublist is 0 is 1 and sublist is 1 is 2. Like we said, all that we are doing is we are creating a copy of this list. So a copy with the same contents as this list as 11.20. That would be at 1000 at 11.40. And now we'll append this to the list at 11.80 because we want to append it to copy out. What do we mean by append? Well, we append just one element. That element is this entire list. So what we append is the reference. We append 1200. And let's make a note that this is copy L at zero. Of course, that might change in the future. Those comments are only true for the moment. The second thing that happens is exactly the same. We create a new list that's a copy of L at one. A copy that's like that. We put it in a new location in memory. And we will append it to copy L in a second. So let's write here straight away that that's the first element of copy L. And here we'll write 1220. That's the address of the newly created list. We are done. We've created the copy. The only thing that's left to do here is to verify that if you change L at 0 at 0, that does not affect copy L at 0 at 0, for example. In order to do that, we need to figure out what's going to change when we try to change L at 0 at 0. Well, L at 0 at 0 is just the first element of this list. L is 1160, L at 0 is 1120. Changing L at 0 at 0 means changing this 1000 to something else. What about copy L at 0 at 0? Well, copy L is 1180, copy L at 0 is 1200, copy L at 0 at 0 is this guy. So changing copy L at 0 at 0 means ch changing this guy. Changing L at 0 at 0 means changing this guy. They're different. We have created a deep copy of L, a copy of L that's completely disentangled from L. One small note. If we happen to know that L only contains two elements, we do not need a loop. What we can do in order to create a copy of L is to say copy L is equal to a new list, the first element of which is L at 0, the copy of, so the copy of L at 0, and the second element of which is L at 1, the copy of. We are not doing anything special here, anything that we haven't done in this loop. All that we are doing is because we happen to know that L contains two elements, instead of doing this in the loop, we simply refer to the first thing that, that, that's equal to sublist as L at 0, the second thing that's equal to sublist as L at 1, and then we make copies. This is, of course, L at 1. This is it. This is the copy.